In this video, we have an important update for all Old Age Security OAS, recipients. The Canadian government has announced a significant increase in OAS pensions for 2024. This is great news for seniors, as it means more financial support each month. We'll explain the new payment amount so you can see exactly how much more you will receive. We'll also go over the eligibility criteria to ensure everyone knows who qualifies for this increase. Understanding these changes is crucial so you can plan your finances better and ensure you get the maximum benefits available to you. Additionally, we'll discuss how this increase will impact your monthly benefits and what steps you might need to take to ensure you receive the full amount. Whether you're already receiving OAS or planning to apply soon, this video will provide all the information you need to stay up to date with the latest changes. Good day, fellow Canadians. Today, we're bringing you exciting news that will positively impact the lives of millions across our great nation. In a groundbreaking announcement, the Government of Canada has declared a significant increase in Old Age Security OAS, pension payments for all recipients, set to take effect in 2024. This is not just another minor adjustment it's a substantial boost that aims to improve the financial well-being of our senior citizens and help them cope with the rising cost of living. Whether you're currently receiving OAS benefits, approaching eligibility, or simply planning for your future, this announcement will have far-reaching implications for retirement planning and financial security in Canada. In this comprehensive video, we'll delve into every aspect of this momentous change. We'll explore the details of the increase, who it affects, and how it will be implemented. We'll also discuss the reasons behind this decision, its potential impact on the economy, and what it means for different groups of Canadians. But that's not all we'll also provide valuable insights into how you can make the most of this increase, offer tips for financial planning, and address some frequently asked questions about OAS and other retirement benefits in Canada. So, whether you're a retiree, a soon-to-be retiree, or someone who wants to stay informed about important changes in our social security system, this video is for you. Get ready to learn about this game-changing development that's set to reshape retirement in Canada. Let's dive in and explore what this OAS pension increase means for you and for our country as a whole. Let's start by breaking down the details of this landmark announcement. The Government of Canada has declared that starting in 2024, all old age security pension recipients will see a significant increase in their monthly payments. This increase is set to be one of the largest in recent history, reflecting the government's commitment to supporting seniors and addressing the challenges posed by inflation and rising living costs. The exact percentage of the increase will be insert specific percentage when available, which translates to an additional insert dollar amount per month for the average OAS recipient. This might not sound like a lot at first glance, but when we consider that this is a monthly increase, it adds up to a substantial sum over the course of a year. It's important to note that this increase applies to all OAS recipients, regardless of their income level or how long they've been receiving the pension. This universal approach ensures that all Canadian seniors can benefit from this boost, from those living on a fixed income to those with additional retirement savings. The Old Age Security Pension is one of the cornerstones of Canada's retirement income system. It's a monthly payment available to seniors aged 65 and older who meet the Canadian legal status and residence requirements. Unlike the Canada Pension Plan, CPP, which is based on your work history and contributions, the OAS is funded out of the government's general revenues and is available to eligible seniors regardless of their employment history. The OAS program also includes additional benefits for low-income seniors, such as the Guaranteed Income Supplement, GIS, and the allowance for people aged 60 to 64 whose spouse or common-law partner receives the GIS. While this announcement primarily focuses on the basic OAS pension, it's worth noting that these supplementary benefits may also see adjustments in line with the main pension increase. One of the key features of this increase is that it will be permanent. This isn't a one-time bonus or a temporary measure it's a lasting change to the OAS system that will continue to benefit seniors for years to come. Furthermore, the OAS will continue to be indexed to inflation, meaning that even after this significant boost, the payments will continue to increase quarterly to keep pace with the cost of living. This increase comes at a crucial time. With inflation rates hitting multi-decade highs in recent years, many seniors have found their fixed income stretched thin. Essential costs like housing, food, and healthcare have been rising, putting pressure on household budgets. This OAS increase aims to provide some relief and help seniors maintain their standard of living in the face of these economic challenges. The beauty of this OAS pension increase lies in its inclusivity. Unlike some targeted programs or benefits, 
this increase will affect all OAS recipients across the board. Current OAS recipients will automatically see the increase reflected in their monthly deposits starting in 2024. There's no need to apply or take any action the increase will be implemented automatically. For those approaching the age of 65, this increase means you'll be stepping into a more generous OAS system. It's an excellent time to review your retirement plans and factor in this additional income. Some Canadians choose to defer their OAS pension beyond age 65 to receive higher payments later. This increase will apply to deferred pensions as well, making the option to delay potentially even more attractive. While the increase applies to all recipients, it will have a particularly significant impact on low-income seniors who rely heavily on OAS and GIS for their daily expenses. OAS is available to eligible seniors who have lived in Canada for at least 10 years after turning 18, regardless of their place of birth. This increase will benefit eligible immigrant seniors as well. Let's look at some examples to illustrate the real-world impact. Consider Mary, a 70-year-old widow living solely on her OAS and CPP benefits. Currently, she receives $642.25, the maximum OAS amount as of 2023, plus her CPP. With the new increase, her OAS alone could potentially rise to around $700 per month, providing her with additional funds for essentials and perhaps a few small luxuries. Then there's the Sings, a couple both aged 68, who receive OAS and have modest savings. Their combined OAS income could increase by approximately $120-$150 per month, allowing them to worry less about unexpected expenses or to put a bit more aside for their grandchildren's education. Ahmed, a 66-year-old recent retiree who immigrated to Canada 20 years ago, receives a partial OAS pension based on his years of residence. Even though his OAS is not the full amount, he'll still see a proportional increase, helping him to better enjoy his retirement years in his adopted country. The implementation of this increase will be straightforward. The new rates will be applied automatically to all OAS payments starting in 2024. Recipients will see the increase reflected in their first payment of the year, whether they receive their pension by direct deposit or by check. It's worth noting that this increase doesn't affect the eligibility criteria for OAS. The age of eligibility remains at 65, and the residence requirements stay the same. What's changing is simply the amount that eligible seniors will receive. To truly appreciate the significance of this OAS pension increase, it's crucial to understand the context and reasoning behind it. This decision wasn't made in a vacuum it's a response to several economic and demographic factors affecting Canada. One of the primary drivers of this increase is the persistent rise in the cost of living. Inflation has been a significant concern in recent years, with the price of essentials like food, housing, and healthcare increasing at rates not seen in decades. While OAS is indexed to inflation, there's recognition that the quarterly adjustments may not have kept pace with the real-world experiences of seniors. Canada, like many developed countries, is facing an aging population. As the large cohort of baby boomers enters retirement, there's increased pressure on retirement support systems. This OAS increase is partly a recognition of the growing importance of ensuring financial security for a larger senior population. The COVID-19 pandemic highlighted and, in many cases, exacerbated the financial vulnerabilities of seniors. Many retirees saw their savings impacted by market volatility, while others faced increased costs related to healthcare and support services. This increase can be seen as part of the ongoing response to the economic fallout of the pandemic. The increase aligns with the government's stated commitment to supporting seniors and ensuring they can retire with dignity. It's part of a broader policy approach that recognizes the contributions seniors have made to building the country and aims to provide them with financial security in their later years. While primarily aimed at supporting seniors, this increase will also inject additional funds into the economy. Seniors tend to spend a high proportion of their income, often locally, which can have a positive ripple effect on local economies across the country. Now, let's consider the potential economic impacts of this increase. With more money in their pockets, seniors are likely to increase their spending on goods and services. This could provide a boost to various sectors of the economy, particularly those that cater to older demographics. By providing seniors with more income, this increase may reduce the pressure on other social support systems and potentially decrease the number of seniors living in poverty. The additional funds circulating in the economy could create a multiplier effect, potentially stimulating job creation and economic growth, particularly in sectors and communities with high concentrations of seniors. 
It's important to note that this increase will require additional government expenditure. The long-term fiscal impact will depend on factors such as economic growth, tax revenues, and potential offsetting savings in other areas of senior support. The increase might influence some seniors' decisions about whether to continue working past 65. While the effect is likely to be small, it's a factor to consider in the broader labor market picture. Given Canada's diverse geography and demographics, the economic impact may vary by region. Areas with higher concentrations of seniors could see more significant local economic benefits. While the increase is designed to help seniors cope with inflation, economists will be watching closely to ensure that the additional spending power doesn't itself contribute to inflationary pressures. It's clear that this OAS increase is not just about the numbers it's a significant policy decision with far-reaching implications for individuals, communities, and the broader Canadian economy. Now that we understand the details and implications of the OAS pension increase, let's focus on how seniors can maximize its benefits. With the increase in income, it's an excellent time to revisit your budget. Consider allocating the additional funds strategically perhaps increasing your emergency fund, setting aside more for healthcare costs, or allowing yourself some additional discretionary spending. If you're approaching retirement, this increase might allow you to retire slightly earlier or more comfortably than you had planned. It's worth reviewing your overall retirement strategy with this new information in mind. If you're carrying any debt, consider using some of the additional income to pay it down more quickly. Reducing high-interest debt can have a significant positive impact on your overall financial health. For those who don't need the entire increase for day-to-day -day expenses, consider investing the extra amount. Even small additional investments can compound over time and provide a financial cushion for the future. As healthcare needs often increase with age, consider setting aside some of the additional income specifically for future medical expenses or to purchase additional health insurance coverage. If the increase puts you in a more comfortable financial position, you might want to consider increasing your charitable contributions. This can be personally fulfilling and may also offer tax benefits. The extra income might open up new possibilities for your living situation. Whether it's making home improvements, considering a move, or exploring senior living options, it's worth reassessing your housing plans. Remember that OAS benefits are taxable income. Depending on your overall income, you might want to consult with a tax professional to ensure you're managing your taxes efficiently with the increased OAS amount. If you're approaching 65 and don't immediately need the OAS income, consider whether delaying your OAS payments might be beneficial. You can defer OAS up to age 70 in exchange for higher monthly payments. Make sure you're aware of and applying for all benefits you're eligible for, such as the Guaranteed Income Supplement, GIS, if you're a low-income senior. With a change in your income, it might be a good time to review your estate plan. Ensure your will is up to date and consider whether the additional income affects your plans for leaving a legacy. Consider using some of the extra funds to increase your financial literacy. Books, courses, or sessions with a financial advisor can help you make even better decisions with your money. While the OAS is indexed to inflation, consider how you can further protect your purchasing power. This might involve adjusting your investment strategy or exploring other inflation-protected income sources. Use some of the increase to boost your emergency fund. Having a solid financial cushion can provide peace of mind and help you handle unexpected expenses without stress. Don't forget that retirement is also about enjoyment. Consider allocating some of the increase to activities or purchases that improve your quality of life, whether that's pursuing a hobby, traveling, or spending more time with family. Remember, everyone's financial situation is unique, and what works best for one person may not be ideal for another. It's always a good idea to consult with a financial advisor who can provide personalized advice based on your specific circumstances, goals, and risk tolerance. To round out our discussion on the OAS pension increase, let's address some common questions about OAS and retirement benefits in Canada. This will help provide a more complete picture of the retirement income system and how the new increase fits into it. While both OAS and the Canada Pension Plan, CPP, are government pension programs, the OAS is funded through general tax revenues and is available to all eligible seniors regardless of their work history. The CPP, on the other hand, is a contributory program based on your employment income and contributions throughout your working years. The Guaranteed Income Supplement, GIS, is designed for low-income seniors and is based on your income. An increase in OAS could potentially affect your GIS eligibility or amount. 
However, the government typically adjusts these programs in tandem to ensure low-income seniors are not negatively impacted. There is an income threshold where you might have to repay some of your OAS, known as the OAS clawback. For 2023, it starts when your net world income exceeds $86,912. You may have to repay 15% of the amount over this threshold, up to the full amount of your OAS. The increase in OAS payments may affect this calculation for some higher income seniors. You can receive OAS whether you're working or retired. However, your employment income may affect the amount of OAS you receive due to the clawback threshold mentioned above. OAS payments are adjusted quarterly, in January, April, July, and October, based on changes in the Consumer Price Index, CPI. If you live outside Canada, you may be eligible to receive OAS payments if you meet certain criteria, including having lived in Canada for at least 20 years after turning 18. OAS is an individual entitlement. If both members of a couple are eligible, they will each receive their own OAS pension based on their individual circumstances. If you immigrated to Canada later in life, you may be eligible for a partial OAS pension if you've lived in Canada for at least 10 years after turning 18. The amount you receive will be prorated based on your years of residence in Canada. You can defer your OAS to receive higher payments later, up to age 70.